Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm starting a YouTube channel over fishing stuff and I can do fishing videos, I can review fishing things, I can use different types of baits and stuff. So comment what you guys want, but today I'm going to show you what I keep in my tackle box and what kind of baits I use so that you guys can comment on my video that I'm going to post on what baits you think I should use in a video or what type of challenges I should be doing in upcoming videos. So let's get into it. So first I'm gonna tell you about the bag. It is an ugly stick fishing bag. It, I found it at Dick's Sporting Goods and it was around $25, $30 maybe. And it's very nice because it holds all of your stuff in it and it has four smaller tackle boxes inside of the bag so that you can choose what kind of baits you want to put in certain ones and what kind of hooks and stuff you want to put in pockets and stuff like that so on the, there's one pocket right there and inside of that pocket is all of the dividers that were in the tackle boxes to begin with that i took out so that i could fit my baits in it so if you for some reason need to put one of those back in it. I just keep them all right there so when I need one, I can just grab one. And going on to the side pocket on this side, I have, I have a fish wear that also has a measuring tape. I have a glow in the dark bobber so that if I wanna go night bobbing, I can do that. And then I have a few smaller bobbers if I would want to go fishing. And then I don't have anything in this side pocket. And then here in the front, I keep a multi-tool that has pliers so that if I need to take a hook out, of a fish then I have those and then you unbuckle these and then there is a pocket right there and inside of those pockets I have a salt and pepper shaker so that if I want to fillet a fish and I also have a fillet knife so if I'm out and I wanna maybe use live bait and maybe like cut a bluegill in half to catch a bass or anything like that, I can use my flint knife or if I wanna cook a fish. So now we are going to move inside of the tackle box. Moving inside the tackle box, there is a zipper right here that you are gonna unzip. And then it comes with four smaller tackle boxes to go inside of your big bag. And there's also a pocket right here that I keep extra hooks. I also keep just a bunch of these random hooks in there. And I also keep this package of small hook, smaller hooks and bigger hooks so that if I would want to catch a bluegill, I have these smaller hooks to go inside this pocket. Moving on to the tackle boxes. I keep this one in front because this is the box that I use the most. I keep all of my rubber baits in this. I have just pink tailed rubber baits. I have lizards in there. I have green tailed rubber baits. I also have, these are one of my favorites. They're June bug rubber baits and they work really nice. So you can use like a Texas rig or a wacky rig on these with like a weighted hook or just a regular hook. I have these smaller neon rubber baits. I have these red worms that you can also use. I have these sparkly clear rubber baits. I also have some of these little wax worms. So if I'd want to catch some like bluegill, I have many little crickets. I also have a few of these frogs, and I also have frogs with hooks in them, but this is just to put on a regular hook. And then I have these purple baits. I also have these little fake 
crawdads and sardines and stuff like that. So if I would just put those right on a hook and try to catch a fish. So that is all for these rubber baits. Bait and on to the next one. This is also a common one that I can use. I put all of my hard baits in here. I put these frogs. I have frogs. I have green ones. I have this little chatterbait. I have these chatterbaits. I have this gray one. This is gray and black. And then I have this multicolored one. I have this lipped chatterbait, which is red and silver. And then I also have this lipless crankbait that is just orange, yellow, and silver. And I also have, this is one of my favorites right here. It's a little minnow that has a orange belly and a black, I'm mean, blue top on it. I also have this lip crankbait that is just uh, yellow with red. I have this lip pink and purple bait. And I also have this cricket here that I have personally never used, but I would also really like to try it. So if you want to see me try that in an upcoming video, just comment down below. And that is it for all of these hard baits. Back into the bag, I have this box right here. It is not filled as much as the other ones, but I have this white spinner bait. I have these little grubs with a weighted hook on them. I have little spinners. I have medium sized spinners with like details on them. I have bigger ones that also have the red flap on the back. And I have these really long ones with feathers on the backs of them that I personally have never really tried because I don't know how well it's gonna work. But if you would like to see me use any of these baits in an upcoming video, just comment below. And that is it for this tackle box. Moving on to the last box tackle box that i have in here it is a little unorganized because all of these go around and stuff but i have these large hooks that i could put bluegill on i also have these little red things to go behind one of mine lures and then i have these like yellow and orange eyed weighted hooks that are kind of small i also have these weights, I have those to go with my bait. I have beads to go on the back of some of my baits. I also have these weights to go on my hook. And then I also have these lines to put a hard bait on. And then I also use these red-eyed weighted hooks and just regular gray weighted hooks. But I really, really like using the red I had weighted hooks and the June bug colored rubber baits. They work really well for me when I go fishing out at the reservoir. And so this is just all of my hooks that I own that I use to put my baits on. And if you'd like to see me use any of these baits with any of my other baits that I have for to put these hooks up with, then comment down below. And that is it for the last box. That is it for my ugly stick fishing bag and all the lures I have in it. So again, comment down below what kind of baits you would like to see me use in upcoming videos so that I can do challenges and whatever you guys like to do on my channel. So remember to comment down below. Remember to subscribe and like this video. And thanks for watching. Bye.